Hey, Donna Marie here. You're watching the Corvette Channel. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Scott. I'm Terry. And we're here today to be able to show you uh, the uh, XL mud flaps from ACS Composites. They've been gracious enough to sponsor our channel today and to uh, supply us with the mud flaps for my C7 Corvette to be able to show you what's involved in putting them, putting them on the car and just the quality of them and, and you guys being able to see that and be able to see the ease of how to go about putting them on is going to make it that you might just go ahead and buy some. You know, they're, uh, they're very, very nice. I'm going to show you along the way uh, what I have. When you buy these cars from, from the dealer brand new, they come with a, a mud flap, but they don't stick out on the fenders at all. And then General Motors actually has a, um, an upgraded uh, set of mud flaps that you can buy um, from GM Parts that they stick out a little bit um, and they do an okay job but um, ACS has just stepped that up just off off the charts these are one they're just beautiful and I'm gonna be able to show you these they make them in um, the, they have three different versions of them uh, one is just the plain uh, smooth plastic that's unpainted and then they have one that's kind of got a texture to it, kind of like the ones that are on the factory. And then they also have the ones that are carbon, uh, carbon flash painted. And um, I'm going to show you, I have the original ones from the car when I first got it. Uh, I just had put them back in the box, tucked them away. And uh, so we've got those off to the side here. Terry's, Terry's got them here. This is the... This will give you an example here. Um, this is the rear mud flap. This is the one that came from the factory uh, on the car, and the paint and the fender was exactly just right there. There is no guard at all, per se. As you can see here, um, this is the rear one here for the ACS one. And you can see so much more here. I mean, look at all of that. All this painted part here, that is all you know, sticking out way past where the factory was. So this one's really, really doing a lot of the, blocking a lot of the, the debris that's going to be coming up on the side of the car. Now once we get the ones that are on the car now off, the ones that replace these, I'm going to set all of these three side by side and I'm going to show you what it's like to go from absolutely nothing to a little bit of something to something that's actually going to do the job. So, um, and not just do the job, but really look good doing it. Anyway, um, just, just to show you here real quick what you get in the box. Uh, here's the box that it came in. All four of these little guys came in it. Two fronts, two backs. Came with the, my, their, little, uh, their little small catalog and some pictures showing all the different stuff that they have to offer. And then they also came with detailed instructions here um, on how to go about installing them. So uh, we're going to we're really going to uh, be able to show you this. It's, it's very simple to do. It doesn't take a lot. It takes a screwdriver uh, to do it. Everything is pretty much snap, uh, snap in place. You just got one screw right here that goes in the bottom. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you that so that way you know how it's done. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and we're going to jump right in now. Thanks. Okay, so... As you can see, we're lifting the car up on a lift here, and we're doing this more so to make it easier for the camera angles so you guys can be able to see it. Um, this does not have to be done on, on, the, on a lift. You can, it's very simple to do. You have to lay down on the floor in your garage or on you know, your driveway, but it is not hard to do. So, um, again, I'm, we're just raising it up here so you can actually see it. Um, but like I said, you don't have to have it up in the air. Okay, so like we said, we've got the, we've got the car list, lifted up in the air and we're doing this just to be able to show you easier with the camera what we're doing. Uh, again, you can do this on the ground. You don't need a lift to do this. And you're going to see here in just a second just how easy it is to do. Um, so Terry's going to go ahead and he's going to come there's underneath one, here. There's one screw under here that you take out.
that's the screw taken out. Then the other thing you might want to do is turn the wheel in so that you just have room to work on it. Then this here just snaps out once you get a hold of it. Simple as that. Uh, I want to take a rag or a towel and just kind of clean it up before you put the new part back on it. This makes it for a nicer clean application and makes it a little easier to get it in there. This is the new one that we're putting on. Very simple, a very, very nice piece. I, I've been looking at it while Scott's been kind of doing things and I'm really impressed with the workmanship that is on these and they look really nice on the car. There's a little tab right here. Let me see if I can. It goes into a little slot right here. There's a little slot. This tab goes into it. The easiest thing to do is just to stick that in there and rotate that until you line these little clips up with where they go. And it's that simple. That's it. All you gotta do now, put the screw back in the bottom right here, which is no big deal. These are actually the easiest things I've seen to put on a car. And they just look I awesome. Mean, they, they look awesome. I can't wait yeah. for it to get set for mine. I, I'm that impressed with them. Okay, so we are at the back of the car now, and Terry's going to be pulling that, uh, that seven millimeter screw out of the bottom of the, of the bumper here. There's actually three screws down here. There's two that are in line with each other. Leave them alone. The one you want to take out is the one to the left of them, which is this one. Now the panel, it's just going to start snapping out. There you go. And that's all there is to that. Hi everybody. You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't want to do this yourself, don't want to tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that. And in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this and we've actually turned this into a business. So um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do aero kits, all that type of stuff, reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida, from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of in passing, I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that, and, and it's turning out to be a pretty pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered people that have been far enough away, I've offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, nope, we just want you guys to do it. So um, if you guys knew, are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know. Reach out to me. I'm going to get that information right here on the screen, and we'll be happy to help you. So anyway, back to the video. At this point, we're just going to take a towel. We're just going to wipe this down uh, just so, so it's nice and clean before we put it all back together. I must say the parts that we're putting on are far better than what we're taking off. <laughs> this, these here are the three different ones that we have. This one here is a stock. This comes with a car when you buy a brand new. This is another one that you get that has a smaller lip. As you can see, it's a little bigger. This one has none at all. 
This one here to me is a far better piece. It's a lot nicer, beefier looking, and it even looks, it's got different things to, structurally, this is a much better piece in my opinion. And it does look a lot better than this. This is where your fender would be going, and that's what you'd be seeing is that edge. This is where your fender is going in this one, and look at the nice edge. Yeah. It's no, a beautiful I, it, piece. It's beautiful. Okay. These are the rear ones. <clears throat> They're actually the same as far as the distance. These are the stock ones that you buy it on a car. This is the other market that comes out just a little bit. They do a good job, but they're not, there's no way that they're gonna do the job that this does. And, and this here is a far better piece. They have little brackets and stuff in here that the other ones don't, that clip in a lot nicer. And it, it, it's just the, the look of the product is just a lot better than what I've seen. This would be on the inside of the wheel well. Nice looking piece, easy to clean. And they're a surprisingly very, very simple to, to put on. This one here, this tab right here, you have to slide it between the bottom piece. As you see it here, there's a, it's, that's where that screws go. It's got a slide right in there, which is not difficult. I'm just kind of pointing it out. You just slide it in and line these up. And there you go. Now you put the screw in the bottom. And there you go. I think they look cool. I like them a whole lot better than the other ones. Guys, thank you for watching today. I want to thank ACS Composites for uh, sponsoring the show today and uh, sending me uh, these XL mud flaps. They turn out just wonderful. They are super high quality. They really put the factory stuff to shame. Not only that, but they look awesome. Now, like I said, there's three different versions you can get. You can get the smooth ones, you can get the textured ones, or you can get the carbon flash ones, and I highly recommend that one. Um, they just really, really look nice. Um, super, super to install, uh, so don't be afraid of doing that. It's uh, literally a total of four screws, uh, and um, it's very, very simple. So um, for what you get, and I, I think it was well worth the money, and um, just... Just the looks in itself is awesome, but uh, again, functionality is uh, way beyond. We showed you in the video about how much wider these are, and, and it just makes a difference. Um, if, you, if you decide you want to get some of these, check out the link that's in my description, and that'll take you to ACS, and uh, they'll be able to help you and get you the ones, get them on the way for you, and... Um, Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and you guys have a great one. Again, thank you ACS for, uh, for sponsoring us today, and you guys all have a good night. watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.